Giants comp helps MVP dude 808 and today I've I've gotten a lot of requests okay just first of all I've gotten a lot and a lot a lot of requests on how to do this and I just thought I'd do it and uh, okay so here we go I'm gonna show you guys how to make a totally free website how to get an up and running website for free not from uh, using the basic free web stuff just using free webs to host your site okay now um, I am gonna use a template because I personally do not know how to make my own template and I don't know how to uh, or I haven't had the time to learn how and uh, okay so this is just gonna be basic 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 for you guys and I'll try to walk you through step by step of what I can so let's start out with the things that you'll need let's open up the internet browser okay for, so the first thing you need is Adobe Dreamweaver CS3 I don't use anything else personally so if you have any other programs to edit websites with I'm not the person to go to, sorry, but I don't have any other experience with any other program, which means I won't be able to answer any other questions. So please, if you question me about what other programs you can use, I just will probably delete your question. Okay, so don't come up to me saying, how do I get this program for free? Don't ask me that. I won't tell you anything. I'm not going to hack it for you because I don't know how to hack. I'm not going to get you any cereals or anything. Just don't come up to me with any of that, right? If you want it, buy it for $399. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, how to do it for free. Okay, um, what I mean by free. Get the free trial. Download the free trial. You'll come up to the login page, I think. Yeah, right here. Just create an Adobe account. You know, just put the only real thing you need is your email address. Okay, so the first thing to do is go to adobe.com slash products slash dreamweaver. All links will be on the side. Okay, so I'm going to take this off right now. The next thing you need is a CSS template. Let's go to freecsstemplates.org. Link will be on the side. Okay, now you want to go up here to the tabs and click CSS templates. They currently have 291 templates available. Select the template you want. You can pretty much select any one you want here. I'll just select the screen one called color imagery color imagery okay you can see it's it's an okay site for a starter site it's got nice graphics I guess download the .zip file up here on the right hand corner there we go okay and it's done there it is now you come up with a zipped file right click it and extract it yes to all I already have it here so that's why Oops, where did it go? Where did it go? Um, but what if I don't want to my dual screen right now? Um, where'd it go? Come on. Sorry, just one moment. I need to locate this file. Okay, well, let's just double click it, I guess, and get it from here and drag it out. Yes, to wall. Yada yada. Okay, so you'll come up with a folder or something. You can exit your zipped file. Double click it. And remember, run and install the Dreamweaver um, program. Now you'll come up with something like this. Images. Just don't mess with these. Unless you want to edit your pictures to make it look and give it your, your own touch. The thing you want to do is right click the index and open it with Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. And you are now finished with freecssstemplates.org. You can exit out of that. <clears throat> this? Exit that folder if you want. Um, yeah. Adobe Dreamweaver, huh? Adobe Dreamweaver. There it is. It's opening up, don't worry. <clears throat> okay, so you'll come up with something like this. Now up here on the right left corner you'll see code, split, and design. Click the design tab and boom. You have your own view and edit um, template kind of a thing. This is how I edit all my templates usually unless it's a uh, flash which I won't go into that. Now right here you just type in what you want it to say you know. Oh, VV comp help, VV, put your slogan and such. Uh, here to help step by step you know just what you want you can say uh, welcome to 
the VV demonstration site. Demonstration site. And then you can put like a uh, I am all about oops. oops. Um, but I am all about computer stuff and I like to do this kind of stuff. Space and yada yada and I like to type a lot just because I can and yada yada. Edit whatever you want here, okay? Now, a few things I had to learn by myself was how to put links and everything. Now, all you have to do is very simple. I was actually very surprised of how easy it is to put links. Um, let's see. Can we view the properties of the site? Not this at all. The properties. So let's say you want this to go to the VV comp LVV um, channel or something, okay? The YouTube channel. Highlight your selection and go down here to this little tab. Click that, and it'll open up this whole wide of uh, stuff. Go to the properties tab right here, and you have all your little edit stuff, okay? So as you can see, we can see how it's green. We can go ahead and change that to a different color if we want. Guess not. Oh man, we can't. Wow, proves me wrong. Okay, go to the links page or the link place and type http colon slash slash www dot http colon slash slash forward slash forward slash is very important when doing a link thing because you just do www dot. It's not always gonna work. Okay, so let's do www dot tube dot com slash v comp help. I'm sorry, VV. On target, put it to blank. This way it doesn't um, navigate away from your site. It just opens up a new tab in the, in the person's web browser. Then you go down to this. Now we can go to edit every time, I mean view, I mean, oh, preview here. Website, sorry, very sorry. Preview your site. We can click this globe up here and Select your internet browser that you use. For instance, we use Firefox, you use Firefox. I use Safari. I'm going to click Safari. And save the changes to your index file. And uh, boom. It opens it up in my internet browser. You'll see right here that uh, it says VV Compel VV Compel Channel. If I click it, it opens up a new tab or slash window. It's my channel. You know, and so on and so forth. Remember, I typed all this myself. Yep, now it's in a site. Okay, another cool tip is when you are editing your site, go up to this title place and you can type in your header that comes up right here in the tab. See right here where it says Gmail? You can go ahead and in your header type in the VV Compel VV site. Okay, now we're going to file and save. Uh, file, save your document. Save everything you do. Because if you don't save it, things will happen, I'm telling you, and you won't be happy. Now let's preview in Safari again, and now you'll see the VV Comp Help site VV, or yeah, Comp Help VV site, pops up in the tab, which is very nice. That that gives it a nice professional look, you know. So let's say, ooh, I I like I like my site how it is, and uh, let's get started with making it official and not just editing it. Now, what you would want it to do is, since you have it already made and everything, and you make sure you have it all saved up and stuff. If you want, you can exit Dream Dreamweaver, but just in case anything, in case anything goes wrong, I don't know why, let's just minimize it for now, okay? Now, the very important thing is to go into your colorimetry folder and to know all your stuff, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is go into freewebs.com and make an account. Now, my account, I will name it as, do username, as a VV Beta VV stuff okay password I'll just type in a random password actually um, oops okay yeah that was actually the password typed I'll change it I guess <laughs> since you guys saw it wait a second oh didn't one bot um 
Let me see. A password. I'll just put it as. Why not? QWERTY. QWERTY. Email address. Type in your email address here. Okay. And your site title, VV Beta Site. Year of birth, just whatever you want. Okay. Or your actual one, I guess. United States, I'm a male. A few questions about your site, yada, yada. I mean, you're going to actually fill this out, but me, I'm just not. And uh, you select a few, hobby or your pastime. Do it yourself, how to actually, that's mine. Right here, you're selecting your template for your site. This is a very, very, very important part. Okay, very important. Type in CSS. Thanks to Vista Meets Nick, I found this out, okay? CSS, and click search. Now you'll come up with all these wave forms. Oops. Select whichever one you want, it's not going to matter. The color is not going to matter, okay? Believe me, I know what I'm saying. Select the color, agree to the terms of service, and create my site. <clears throat> no thanks, continue. And you click here if it doesn't show up. Uh, it'll bring you up to the site builder now. You're not going to use this at all, so just ignore it. Okay when it uh, pops up or whatever. Go ahead and just press exit or done or exit whatever it says done. Just, just click it. You're not going to need anything on it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Then you go to site manager and you go to I mean edit my site then manage files. Now you've done manage files. Now what you do is you go to single file uploader. Now, do you remember all the files in your folder? You're going to have to upload everything the exact same way. Now, the license, I don't think, really matters. So, you can delete that if you have that. Okay, so let's go to the single file uploader. Right there. And you'll see it'll open up to the root, which is this forward slash. Choose a file. And go to your desktop and select your folder, which mine right here. Ah. In the beginning, beginning color imagery. Go into it and upload everything. Okay, that's in that folder. Oops, I don't want the images. So, such as the default, open, and upload file, and it'll it'll upload fairly fast. Okay, and then you want to upload the index, which is the most important part. Okay, so let's go to index and upload that. So while you're watching me do it, do it yourself. The index, upload the file, okay, yada yada, easy parts done. Now here's the important part. When you upload your images or anything that's in a folder that's separate from the root, such as if there's a folder that said JavaScript or something, like new folder if it said like uh, JavaScript, um, you'd have to make a folder onto the free webs that's the JavaScript and then everything that's in the JavaScript folder, you upload to that part. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, right here, you're on the uploader. You add a folder, and since I have a folder named Images, I'm gonna add a folder, and I'm gonna name it Images. Just the way it said on right here. Okay, now you click Save. Now you'll see an Images folder. You go ahead and Single File Uploader. Now this is a a very important part too. Upload to, now you're going to do the images folder that you just made. And now go into the file name, go in the images folder and upload all these images. Okay? So let's upload them. Now I'm not going to skip this because I'm going to just walk you through the whole way, non-stop, this way. Because uh, there's people out there who just do like, oh, they, they know what I'm saying. Um, you can just skip this part of the video if you want. Okay? Images. Choose the file, and I think I did one the first time. I'll do image two. Upload file. Okay, so you just do all of them. If this video is helping you out in any way, go ahead. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. It always it's that's pretty much the only way on YouTube that you can help me, help support me, so I can make more videos. Okay, so I have image one and two 
upload another one, image 3, upload file. I also have a blog at, I think, vvcomphelpvv.wordpress.com, pretty sure. And if that's not it, sorry, it's on my extra content box on my channel, okay? So go ahead and click that link. Alrighty, image 4, upload file. <clears throat> Alright, believe me, this is, a, this is a pretty much the easiest way to make a site, like, ever. Alright, so images, alright, what are we on, like, image 5 or something? Yeah, we're on image 5. Okay, so let's go to file, image 6, ooh, they skipped number 5. How clever of them. And I will show you how to get a dot .co .nr, um, site. Oh yeah, we open Gmail because, see right here, open, welcome to freewebs.com. You're going to have to confirm your site, I think. Please confirm your email address. Just confirm it. Your account VV has been validated with the email address mvpdude808. Okay, I mean, it's, now it's validated. You can close your Gmail now. That was just for, uh. Just for validating. That's why you need your email open. So don't put a fake email. For one, I everybody should have an email. There's nothing negative that can come out of it unless you sign up for all the spam. And yeah, don't do that. Huh? <clears throat> Let's see here. I think we're on the last image finally. Let's see. How many minutes is this? Like, ooh, this is a long video. <laughs> Okay, images, spacer, open, and this is the last file, finally. Okay, now this is the magic. This is the part that you're going to love. Okay, I'm not even kidding. Now, you're done uploading all your stuff. Now, what you can do is scroll down to your list. Let the page load. Okay, scroll down into the index.html, and just click it open it. You see your tab header right here, VV, Comp VV site. And there's your site. It's that simple. Your site is now on the internet. Can you believe that? From your Dreamweaver document, it's the same exact way it was. It's now on the internet. So if I type that in, it's going to show up and all the viewers can see it. Okay. So there you go. You now have a site that's up and running. Alright, so let's say you want to edit a part of your site. Let's say, here to help, step by step. That doesn't look good because it's overlapping. Now you go back over here and uh, let's see how we can edit this. Um, home. Yeah, we can press enter and move it down a bit. And okay, so that looks a little bit better. Now what you want to do is file and save it. Now go to the code. Okay, edit, select all, right click, copy. Copy the whole code. That's if you're not familiar with HTML. Okay, if you are, then go ahead and do this. Skip the whole code part. Just go to edit, and what do you know? You are brought to all the HTML code, all the HTML CSS code. Um, if you know HTML, then you'll see that right here. Uh, where is it at? VV comp help, VV. Here to help step by step. That's what you would edit. But me, I'm just going to go ahead and select all. TTRL V. And there you go. I've edited my site. Edited it. My site. Click save and click OK. Guess what? The site is now different. So if I reload this, here to help step by step will be a little bit lower. Sometimes it takes a few times. Oh, um, actually, wait a second. Index. Oh well, it'll it'll eventually happen, and all the updates will be changed. Okay, I I look like an idiot right now. Yeah, I really look like an idiot. Well, hold on. Let's see here. What is it changed? First of all, yeah, it's changed because. See, there's an intention. 
Okay, well, you get the point, right? It, it'll change it. <laughs> okay. So now you have your site up and running. And uh, what you need now is your own .co to enter free redirection um, URL. Type in the do do name, name that you want, such as VV, beta, VV. Let's see if it's available. It's still available. Great. What you do is scroll all the way down to, I want to sign up for this domain. Don't forget that all links will be on the side in the description of the video. On all of my videos, you should be reading the description. Here's just the verification stuff saying that you're not a bot, you're not a robot. Who is Britney Spears? She is a woman who sings songs. What is a hamburger? It is a kind of food. Click the next step. <clears throat> okay. Next you scroll down and I have read and understand everything. Yeah. And make sure you have this index.html thing open. Okay, just just like that. That's kind of important. Back to the this. Your name, MVP, dude, country, United States. Your email, very important because you need to verify before the link works. Go down to password. Ah, this is QWERTY. Okay, well, actually, it's not going to be QWERTY. Actually, changed it up a little bit. Target URL. This is the URL of the index that you've made. So, right click it and copy it. Go down and paste it in there. Okay? Target URL, click next step. Category, select what category yours is, like um, computers. Description, of course, you're going to fill this out. Ignore everything else and click next step and click complete. Now you have successfully registered it. Now you need to confirm it at your email. That's why, actually, you keep your Gmail open still. And there it is, the activation code. So you just scroll like almost all the way down, yeah, all the way down. Copy your activation code right there. Copy it. Go to this link right here. Yada yada. Your password. Okay, your activation code. And you activate it. Congratulations, it's been activated. Now, more magic happens right here. Click it. Click the link that you've just made, VV Beta VV .co to enter. There's your site. You've made you successfully made an internet site. How great is that? You've successfully made a free internet site in about in less than 25 minutes. Now it may seem like a long time to you guys, but it's that's not very long at all. Um, my last internet site, even though it doesn't even look like it, but for me to edit it, it took me 10 hours straight to make that site. Pretty amazing. Thanks for sticking here, guys, for 20-something minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if this is boring, um, but at least you know how to make a site now for free. Um, if you have any comments saying, hey, thanks so much, go ahead and comment the video. Rate it five stars. Favorite it. Subscribe. Share the video. Comment my page. Whatever you want. Thanks for watching, guys.